Hello everyone, my name is John Hammond and this is another video for TryHackMe, one awesome online trading platform that's kind of on par and I think sometimes even better than Hack the Box. So let's dive into it. Um, I'm going to switch to my screen over here. And you can see I am logged into TryHackMe, tryhackme.com. The only rooms that I've completed thus far are just that basic penetration testing room that we had that recent video on. And now let's do something else. I want to showcase the OSINT room. It's all about open source intelligence, right? That's what OSINT, the acronym, is supposed to really stand for. So we need to go ahead and join this room to actually be able to interact with it. So I'll hit that green button there, join room, and then we should be able to work with this. Looks like we have a few tasks, only just a few of them, and they say, what information can you possibly get starting with just one photo? So we have something to download, and that's literally it. Let's go ahead and download this. Um, I'll actually try and right-click. Can I do that? Can I do a wget on that? Probably not. Whatever. Let's go ahead and set up a directory so I can work with this. I'm going to call it THM. Uh, all I have is the basic pen testing room done, but let's call OSINT. And know that that is a lowercase h, right? The acronym is O-S-I-N-T for Open Source Intelligence. They're just kind of being clever and funny with the name here, OSINT. So let's do this. Let's download this file, windowsxp.jpg, and I'll put it in THM. I have a lot of files apparently just flowing through here, whatever. And now we have that file downloaded into the OSINT directory. Awesome. So let's go ahead and see what that picture is. And it's literally just the background that would come default with Windows XP. So not the most helpful thing. It's called a JPEG here. We can run Windows on it. It's a JPEG. Run file on it. I said run Windows. You don't want to run Windows on an image. It says, what is this user's avatar of? I don't really know what that could mean here. You could type in like Windows XP, but they give you a nice little hint here in the answer format. They, the number of asterisks is literally the length of the answer that you're looking for, so that might help. Um, you can check out the hints if you want, but I want to do my other kind of basic reconnaissance on this file. Uh, if you're running in Linux, a really other great tool you could use to examine metadata is EXIF tool. And you could install that if you don't have it. You might be able to find the repos. So exit tool on that image. And we could see here, we have some interesting information. It knows the GPS position, which I guess you could use to track down his location. Latitude and longitude. Copyright. O. Wood Flint, which is kind of peculiar. And that's all the information that we could get out of that. You could do other things like strings on that image to see if there's anything new in there. Um, you'll also kind of be able to see some of that metadata really in there. If I modify that length to like eight characters long, you might be able to see some better potential information. Copyright, GPS latitude and longitude in his, this thing O. Wood Flint. So let's go ahead and look up what that might be. You could literally just kind of Google O Wood Flint, and you can see some of my some of my links are purple here because I had to do this challenge obviously myself. There's a Twitter account here. Um, looks like there are some write-ups, so be careful not to go down that rabbit hole. Don't look at those write-ups. Make sure you can solve this yourself, unless you really really want to here. All right, let's go take a gander at what all this is. Oh, that GitHub repo is actually his name too. So let's look through those. So I opened this Twitter page and that username is the exact same name as what we've seen in the actual image here. Just a simple hello world tweet from 2019. It says, from my house I can get free Wi-Fi. Huh, okay. Something odd and strange to share on Twitter. <laughs> Looks like the user's avatar is a cat. And I think that is what they were trying to go for. I Originally, when I read that, I didn't fully understand it. But let's go ahead and submit that. Let's see if cat is the right answer. Which it is. Awesome. The other question is, what city is this person in? So we have some of our results. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter just says space. So that doesn't help us all that much. Maybe those other links we might have found had some good stuff. Oh, this could very well be his GitHub. He only has a people finder, and that's it. So not a lot of stuff. It says, hi all, I'm from London. Maybe London is the answer that we need here. We could go ahead and try that. Submit. 
and that's right too. Okay, next question is, what's the SSID of the WAP he's connected to or the wireless access point? Okay, well, we have the BSSID from his Twitter post. Click on that. Oh, so <laughs> someone responded, Gilanting, what, gianting watches? No way, that's not his SSID, is it? No, that doesn't really match that format. Well, okay, so we could track that down on like Weigel or Wiggle. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it. The wireless networking map. Um, no, don't know my location, please. You could search for a BSSID here over on the side. And then if you were to go ahead and hit that filter button. I did this and it's kind of annoying. It doesn't bring you to any results really. So I just kind of scrolled out and tried to zoomed away, zoomed out, and tried to see if I could find any results. Stuff in the United States. We told him we were in London. We already learned that he's in London, so we could go check out over there. Oh, yeah, and you can see just the tiniest blip over in London. We'll zoom way in on that. Let's see what information it could give us. Whoa! Okay. So, zooming all the way in... It says Unilever Wi-Fi. Yeah, Unilever Wi-Fi. Let's try that. Unilever Wi-Fi. Was it a capital F? Yep, Wi-Fi. Submit. Cool. All right. Interesting. Don't put your BSSSID, BSSSSS ID out on the internet, especially on Twitter. What is his personal email address? Oh, wait. That was on his GitHub page, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Project starting soon. Email me if you want to help out. Owoodflint at gmail.com. We can slap that in there. And what site did you find his email address on? That was totally GitHub. Done. Where has he gone on holiday? Huh. Okay. That's not on his Twitter page. That's all that we saw in there. And nothing in GitHub, really. Oh, he has his own website. He has a little blog. It says, hey, <laughs> I'm in New York right now. Okay, perfect. Contact page. Whatever. Contact page. New York. Where has he gone on holiday? What is this person's password? Well, we might be able to do some digging on his website because if he's hosting that himself on the internet, we can kind of just view the source and see what the back end is made out of. A lot of external links, a lot of WordPress stuff. Yep, a lot of WordPress stuff. I'm in New York right now, so I'll update this as soon as I can. My new photos. Blah, blah, blah. What the heck? I'm in New York right now, so I'll update this right away with new photos. And there's a, a, a white text paragraph white color text paragraph that is says penny dropper weird all right we can try if that's it oh yeah it has a period in it that's got to be it it's got to be it cool Woo! we did it that's that room that is the osint challenge kind of kind of small stuff kind of simple stuff right but um kind of cool it just goes to show how much information you can really track down if there is metadata available on your pictures here just simply running exif tool um maybe we were to get able to get a name able to get some information track him down online even a gps coordinates that's that's kind of crazy so goes to show what sort of information is out there when you put that on the internet speaking of that i should probably go respond to all those twitter messages notifications that i have just one no one loves me. <laughs> hey, if you like the video, please go subscribe to me on the YouTubes and follow me on the Twitters. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press that like button. Please do leave a comment. I love to get your feedback. I love to hear what you'd like to see. Do you want to see more Try Hack Me? It seemed to be really well received in the first video, so I want to do a little bit more with it. But thank you guys for watching. Love to see you on the Discord server, Patreon, PayPal, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, all those things. Thanks, everybody. See you later.